Ella knows I'm not going to sit here another day. Spring break. How are we going to get enough money? I don't know. They're the only ones still here. Spring break. I'm tired of seeing the same thing. Spring break. It's your chance to see something different. Hello, everybody. What the flick? Alonzo Duraldi, Christy Lemire. We saw the movie. Ben Mankiewicz, uh, <laughs> Matt Atchity did not. Um, but they like girls in bikinis getting high and having three ways. So we're going to stick. They're going to stick around for <laughs> Spring Breakers. But it's really hard to shot. that's not making a movie worth oh, seeing, I don't know what is. <laughs> yeah. The latest from uh, from Harmony Korine. Um, it's it's it's. I, I, my joke is the, his last movie was Trash Humpers, and this is White Trash Humpers. <laughs> <laughs> Christy's going to explain it. Friends who want to escape the doldrums of their daily college existence, and so they. They steal money from a restaurant and head down to Florida for day and night and day and night of debauchery and drugs and sex. And it's all shot very artfully and like super slow-mo. And eventually they get arrested and someone bails them out of jail. And it's James Franco. Take a look. Spring Y'all want to die tonight? Spring break. Get down! You scared, aren't you? Spring break forever. Spring break forever, bitches. So this is an awesomely great, weird James Franco performance. Yes. In the pantheon of weird James <laughs> Franco performances. I mean, this is some of his best work. And it's it's not just the cornrows, it's not just the grill, it's not no. just the accent. I mean, he's he's a joke and he's like this wannabe gangster rapper, but he has such vulnerability beneath all the bravado that he he steals his whole entire no, thing no, away. No, no, he's, he's fascinating to watch. And I mark my words, he did. People going to spring break for decades to come will be quoting him. <laughs> oh, really? So yeah. There's, oh, all right, I think well, so. But here's the thing. This movie is not the movie that you think it's going to be, or at least not the movie that, that it's not a part of the genre that it's operating in. It's really more of a critique of that. I mean, this is, this is a movie that is about how people have been taught by MTV, basically, how to behave. You know, so it's not about, woo, we're here to party. It's like, woo, we are be here to behave in this partying fashion that has been crammed down our throats our entire lives and thus are going to do it as a measure of conformity rather than as a, as a, as a uh, you know, hedonistic uh, kind of bacchanal. But what's fascinating, though, is that I think he wants to have it both ways, right? He wants to have this satirical sort of send-up of the debauchery of the Girls Gone Wild culture. Mm. And yet, I mean... It's I think there. he wants to titillate. I think, I mean, he wants to do, he wants to sort of make you think, but also, you know, know. arouse I, you simultaneously. I, I, mean, I think I, it's both at once. I hate to come to the defense of Harmony Korine because <laughs> he is maybe my least favorite filmmaker today. Like, but this I, might be his best film? I, this is his best film, no question. No, 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 it's the first one that I kind of like. Uh, uh -huh. That's a whole other story. But <laughs> now, Harmony Korine drives me up the wall. But this one, I think, I, I, I think because... He has this tendency to turn everything into a freak show, and Spring Break was already a freak show. Right. So he has, he's just showing up. You know, it's almost ethnographic. Um, I think, but you know, yeah, he does show like the booby girls and the 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 beer bongs on the beach and the 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 dudes standing over them pouring beer in their mouths like they're peeing on them. But he shows it over and over right. and over again right. to I think as an as a either a sensory assault or to sort of make it banal and boring and stupid rather than being titillating. I, I right. think he's very intentionally playing with what we would expect to see in a woo, spring break movie and kind of godarding it and you know right. turning it on here. Make it yeah, numbing us to it. When I was watching it, I was I was it. <laughs> it's a verb. Um, <laughs> when I was watching it, I, I was I was so bored a lot of the time because it is so numbingly repetitive. Mm -hmm. And and the juxtaposition of What's happening on screen versus the the voiceover from Selena Gomez, who who is the good girl among all of them, saying, "Mom, it's so beautiful here. You know, <laughs> everyone's so sweet. Everyone's so nice." <laughs> and so yes, we get it. Okay, there is this dichotomy, and it's it's contradictory. You know, what what you're looking at is not the same as what it truly is. Um, but. I have to say, the more I thought about it, the more I liked it, and the more it stuck with me, and yeah. it got under my skin in a way that I can't even totally understand. Especially the one scene where they w with Britney Spears every time. Yes. And I've had this song in my head for <laughs> days, and I want to get it out. I really don't want it in there anymore. But there's this beautiful scene oh, where you're fine, you're fine. that's much better, yeah. Um, but there's, there's a scene where where you know James Franco sits down at his piano and he he's singing. Britney Spears every time, which is this very tinkly ballad, but while that's going on, the girls are in bikinis with like machine guns and hot pink um, uh, ski, ski masks. masks. <laughs> and it's just, it's disturbing and it's shocking and darkly funny all at the same time, and I, I couldn't stop thinking yeah, about there's it. There's a lot of things, there's a lot of ideas I think here that really work. I like that scene. I liked how early on the girls 
were doing that sort of like fake lesbian thing right. that girls do to get boys' attention, but when there were no boys around. Like they were doing it like they were rehearsing or something. You know, like they were getting ready, because they clearly aren't lesbians, they were, but they're just sort of doing that girls gone wild stuff in anticipation of eventually going to spring break. Um, but, the, but there's other things I think that are kind of overdone, like, there's a, there are so many references to like guns early on and and, and like that yeah Van yeah Vanessa Hudgens Hudgens kind of going psh, psh, you know it's sort of like okay yes we we know where this is going we get this is going to get violent and mm -hmm. it's the you know it's that Chekhov thing you know if you introduce twenty thousand <laughs> gun references in the first act you know twenty thousand guns have to go off in the third act yeah, I, somewhere in there I, there is some kind of message and maybe it is that this is the best these girls are ever going to be and this is the best time they're ever going to have in their lives and they're screwed and we're screwed as a society and it's all downhill from here. I, 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 yeah. that might, there might be an actual nugget of an idea in there. I, definitely, I mean, because if, if you look at, say, like, you know, where the boys are, you know, from 1960, mm -hmm. like spring break, you know, yeah, there, were, there was drinking and girls were getting knocked up, but I mean, it's so much tamer, you know, and, and now it, the, the thing is that now, while it's, it, it's freer and, and it's, it's more outrageous, the outrageousness all feels very very planned and almost sort of corporate sponsored in a way, you know? Mm -hmm. Like spring break as this be, has become this, what feels like a really empty ritual. At least that's the way, danger That's the it. way the movie portrays uh, it. No, but he, he makes it dangerous though and unpredictable, but, James but, Franco. But, but yeah, and what, they, and, and what they do is they sort of, you know, the, he keeps saying spring break forever, you know? And, yeah, and it's, so it's like, yeah, the, the idea of like, what if, you know, if you, try, if you want to live like this all the time, that means you are now like a gross, Gangster wannabe type, you know. Well, that that sounds good to them. That sounds better than than their future is yeah, going to be. Suppose, we talked yeah. we talked really fast about how incredibly beautifully it shot. Yeah, no, Benoit no, no, definitely. Benoit Debbie, Belgian cinematographer Benoit Debbie. He he, yeah, he did uh, uh, Into the, Enter the Void. He did a lot of and films, yes. Yeah, it's 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 a it's a cool film to look at. Even if like me, you can't stand Harmony Korean. <laughs> this is the movie to check out from him. He's actually I think got some interesting ideas. No, going. yeah, there's there's some artistry to it. The score is from Cliff Martinez, who did Drive. So there is something very hypnotic. And, and, and Yeah, yeah, and the bits, it is repetitive, but there is something cumulatively hypnotic about the effect of all these these forces aesthetically going on together. I ended up liking it a lot more the more I thought about it, which is very unusual. Usually I like things less the more time passes, <laughs> but I actually like this a lot more. So I'm giving it, what do I give it? Like a 6.9 I'm giving it. Because yeah, it, it is not a good movie, but it it's, works. It's an interesting <laughs> one, yeah. No, I give it a 7.1. Just bear in mind, if you're going to see this movie, think more art film and less like TNA extravaganza because that's, you're going to get a critique of that, if anything. But there is TNA. There if is all you TNA. want's TNA, you're going to be happy. That's yeah. a relief. Thank God. Phew. So that's, nice. a, that's, that's a seven oh, yeah. for so us. The 70s on the tomato meter. 73, right? 73 on, the, 73. on the tomato meter. Right? And we, yeah, so it's a seven average for us. Yeah, check it out. New York and LA this weekend, wider, March 22nd. Bye.